guys, I'm here today with another release from Spellbinders. This was an August release called Add to Cart by Becky Roberts. I got the shopping cart, shopping bags, and shopping cart party on die set. Here are a couple inspiration projects. This will be the last release I'm featuring for a little bit. Um, I do have my 20 cards, one kit coming with the olive board kit, so that will be coming this weekend. So stay tuned for that. Here's a little cart I put together, a little, little silver cart. And today I'm going to put the red cart together with you. Here are all your pieces. I thought it'd be fun to do a little Target inspired card. This is pretty simple to put together. Don't get intimidated. The pieces I'm showing you now, you can see they're two different sizes. So we have the red and the gray. The gray allows you to make your basket a little bit deeper so you can fit more in it. We're going to stick to the more narrow basket. And I'm going to go ahead and put it together with you. Um, I did have to watch a video off Spellbinder's website to see how to put together some of the elements of the cart. But once you do it, it may, then makes sense. It was just kind of trying to figure it out initially without having any guidance. That was kind of confusing. The cart is so cute. Like that silver one? Come on now. <laughs> This die's, die is nice. I don't think it's too fussy. Um, and if you like to create dimensional projects, it is perfect. There is a stamp set. I'm not sure. Um, I'll see if I can find it, but it kind of coordinates with this. I didn't have a stamp set with this, so you'll see what I do to kind of get past that. For this, I call these like the little sled piece. You have to trim it off a little bit to fit the smaller, the front end of the basket because it is not as tall. So I just cut at the scored line, attached my tape adhesive, and folded it. They are, the die pieces are already scored for you, so it makes folding a little bit easier. What I recommend though, and I don't realize this until I'm putting my shopping bags together, is that it's kind of easier to fold the scored lines towards you first to kind of get it going. I was having a hard time when I was folding away from me to get it on the line and kind of end up crooked and I would have to fiddle with it. And then this piece actually folds up and goes on the bottom, but we're not going to use that today. So there are my two cards. So stinking cute. So here are the shopping bags. I cut out two pieces of the die, and here I'm adding tape adhesive, one piece on one, two on the other, and I'm going to fold again at the score line. Here I realized, oh, folding towards me, it's a lot easier, and I get a straighter, cleaner line. And I'm using my nail to kind of score it. Do the same with this one. You can use glue. Did I mention that already? Uh, this is my second time doing this voiceover because I kept yawning. <laughs> so I deleted everything and I'm redoing it. Um, you can use glue. I used glue on the cart. The silver cart works just fine. It's just I like tape because you don't have to wait for it to dry. You can keep going. Sorry for the blurriness. Again, the bag's really easy to put together. It does come with a couple, so you get two size bags and it comes with two size handles. This is the larger bag. You could also use twine as your handle. I think that would be pretty cute. But here are the two different sizes. Very, um, very small difference, but the smaller one will not fit in the holes of the larger one. Here I'm going to do um, some ink blending, which I've done the past couple videos. I wasn't sure what to do with these backgrounds, so that's why I kind of defaulted to the ink blending. This is Faded Jeans. It's a very sloppy ink blending. I knew most of it was going to be covered by the stuff I put on top of it, so I didn't care. I just wanted to get a little bit of color down. This one's using Fired Brick. Again, excuse me, that's my chair. <laughs> Again, very sloppy. Um, not really blending out all that well. 
And then I will go ahead and add these pieces to my card base. Whoops. And then I will add my little target cart first. I went ahead and added this little banner. It does come with the, what dice it does it come with? The shopping cart party on. So cute. Here are all my little bags. Now the gray and the pink, darker pink are just one piece. I didn't do the dimensional. Here I'm just crumpling up some tissue paper and just gluing it in there. And then I will stuff all these into my shopping cart. Now I didn't have a sentiment, so I just write for you, trying to write in my best handwriting. And then I'll go ahead and attach the tag to the bag. Of course, I probably could have dug out a stamp set that had tiny sentiments, but I didn't even think about that till now. Um, there is a stamp set that they used that coordinates with this collection. I'll have to see if I can find it. So here I'm tucking in my non-dimensional bags in the back making sure they don't come out the bottom because it's not what I want. Um, I do obviously end up cutting this so I can tuck it a little bit further behind and it doesn't cover up the gray bag. This stamp set is the Essential Sentiments, I think it's called, by Spellbinders. And then here are my pieces from the shopping cart party on. So I got my shoes with my red soles and then I put together my bags and I'm going to add my shopping bags. Um, the biggest thing, and sorry if I repeat myself, because again, like I said, this is my second voiceover. I don't remember what I said and didn't say. The biggest, the hardest thing for me in this whole collection was picking the right colors to use. I was, aside from my little red and silver shopping cart, which I didn't use, I was really having a hard time picking colors of bags and I don't know what my problem was. So I don't know if these are the best colors to use, but the card is still cute, the idea at least. I love these face eye masks. Oh my gosh. Those are really pretty and I cut them out of glitter cardstock. Here I wrote happy, bir happy birthday, happy new year. Here's another one of those banners I'm going to tuck behind the drinks. The drinks are so cute, too. Again, those dies, all these dies came from the shopping cart party on. And so here are my two cards. Really adorable. There's some great inspiration on Spellbinders, as well as the other design team people that get the, the release. So definitely head over and check all that out. If you're interested in any products, they will be linked below. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, my D stash is happening on Saturday. That video has been posted, so go check that out if you want to know more and my giveaway. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.